सो हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस दिस इज आशुतोष योर होस्ट एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस न्यू वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स वे आर टुडे गाइस यू कैन सी ओवर हियर इन वर्चुअल एप सिमुलेशन डीसी मशीन इज रनिंग दिस इज डीसी मोटर एंड दिस इज डीसी जनरेटर एंड यू ऑलरेडी वाचिंग द सिमुलेशन ऑफ दिस सो टुडेज प्रैक्टिकल इज वी विल डिस्कस टुडेज प्रैक्टिकल इज टू स्टडी a uh, magnetization curve of a dc shunt generator which is basically a self excited dc generator you can see over here uh, you can see this is on supply is on okay you can see and this is the voltage generated by this generator dc generator and this is the current field current showing in the ammeter 0.2 ampere and you can change from here you can increase the voltage from here by increasing the field rheostate by by, uh, by decreasing the field rheostate resistance and increasing the field current okay you can see over here the change you can see if you increases this slider at right side then voltage and current increases if you decrease if you uh, slide if you move this slider at left side at left side then voltage and current you will notice uh, that they are decreasing okay so first of all we have to reset this connection and we will understand okay what is the magnetization characteristic of dc shunt generator and how it is plotted so guys let's start so, so first we will reset it so guys the connection is reset okay now you can see the connection like the different instruments are there mcb uh, supply dc supply is there three point starter is connected it is already in the circuit then a field rheostat a rheostat is there also called field resistance okay and it will be inserted in series with the field winding and this is motor generator set you can see from here this is dc shunt dc motor it could be separately excited motor or it could be dc shunt self excited motor okay and so and the shaft and this is the generator you can see over here this is the generator this is the field connection of generator these are the field connections and these are the armature connections of generator and these are the field connections of motor and these are the uh, armature connections of motor okay and basically the motor generator set is there and the shaft of this motor and this generator is mechanically coupled as you can see from here okay and there is a voltmeter which is uh, connect which is to be connected across armature of this generator and there is a uh, ammeter which is connected in the field winding of this generator okay so that we can measure the voltage generated of by this generator and the field current is measured by this ammeter so we will first discuss how it is connected how the circuit diagram will be connected okay so basically we already discussed it in my earlier classes video tutorial you can go through my video tutorials for different speed control methods okay and you can refer the circuit diagram and same circuit diagram is there so you can see here this is mcb minus supply this is mcb plus supply so what happens guys first of all we connect the armature part a2 connection and f2 connection of motor okay so just connect first armature second a2 part of motor now armature is got connected from the supply again connect the field connections f2 now field is connected okay now field is got connected from the supply then plus terminal see here this is the plus terminal of mcb so directly it will be connected directly to the line terminal of three point starter okay you can see here this is the line terminal of three point starter l it is written over here l okay then this is armature point of three point starter it is written over here this is the field point okay of three point starter so armature will be connected 
टू द आर्मेचर ए वन ऑफ दिस मोटर दिस इज ए वन दिस पॉइंट इज ए वन आर्मेचर ए वन एंड दिस पॉइंट इज ए टू ए टू एंड एफ टू आर ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड एंड ए वन इज गॉट कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम आर्मेचर टर्मिनल ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट स्टार्टर यू कैन सी हियर ओके देन कनेक्ट फील्ड टर्मिनल ओके गायस कनेक्ट फील्ड टर्मिनल फील्ड इज गॉट कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम द फील्ड रियोस्टेट so this is the positive point in this circuit diagram in virtual lab, uh, uh, circuit they have uh, taken this positive okay so field is got connected from positive and this one is treated as negative so this will be connected to f1 f1 okay so motor connection and <coughs> and supply minus supply is also connected from this uh, negative supply of rio state okay so so that negative supply can be provided to this field okay now guys voltmeter connections now connect this voltmeter across this armature this voltmeter one is got connected from a3 a3 point of generator armature point this is a3 point then second point of voltmeter or minus point of voltmeter is got connected from a4 a4 means armature's point this is a generator's first armature point this is generator second armature point and guys this ammeter is connected in series with the field and what happens guys this ammeter's point one is got connected from this field f3 so f3 will be connected to one and second point or minus point of ammeter is got connected from f4 fields uh, generator second field point so now the connection we have to check whether the connection is correct or not so just click on this check button so it will tell correct connection then click okay and you can now turn on the supply switch on the supply so you can see over here it will turn green and also three point starter is uh, started and motor is on and here voltmeter is reading currently it is zero ammeter is zero so when you increase this field rheostat slider at right side then the voltage appears here 115 volt you, as you can see and field current 0.16 of generator you can see over here okay so this reading you can add to table so this first reading is added into the uh, observation table then again you slide this resistance okay when you slide right side then voltage increases generated by armature also field current increases and then again add to table then second row of observation we have got okay then again you can increase the value of this okay slider at right side then voltage and current increases then again you can increase okay. in increase and when you slide uh, when you slide this rio state at right side again then the voltage increases it becomes 133 volt and field current the value of field current reading is 0.23 you can just add to table and then again you increase this value at this side okay then what happens voltage and current increases so basically guys what is happening actually and the fi final reading we take this this is the final reading. so guys what is uh, happening over here you can plot graph okay by clicking on it plot graph so the graph will be plotted like this okay versus voltage and current okay armature voltage this is generator generated voltage armature voltage and this is field current if so what happens dc generator uh, magnetization characteristic is that curve which gives the relation okay which gives the relation this is the curve which gives the relation between field current okay here actually voltage is taken at uh, this axis and field current on this axis okay so basically this is the relation between field current and armature terminal voltage 
on open circuit you have to remember open during open circuit when the dc generator is driven you can see over here when the dc generator is driven by a prime mover like this dc motor then emf is induced okay what is happening guys emf is induced in the armature of this self excited generator okay and the generated emf in the armature you can give <coughs> the expression you can follow you can follow the expression like this eg equal to p phi nz upon 60a and how the curve comes and this is the graph plotted you can see over here this is the graph plotted and this is called magnetization characteristics and what happens guys this is the curve is obtained from this okay field current is basically taken on x axis this is field current taken on x axis and this is the no load voltage or generated emf it is also called no load voltage or generated emf eg it is shown by eg and what is the formula for eg you already seen the formula for eg is p phi n z upon 60a you can see here emf generated in a generator is given by expression p phi n z upon 60a where z number of armature conductors capital a is number of parallel paths p number of poles and speed of armature phi flux per pole so basically generated emf is directly proportional to flux and speed so if generator runs at constant speed then generated emf is directly proportional to the flux per pole so basically what happens when machine is running at a constant speed then curve obtained will be similar to magnetization curve and it is called magnetic characteristics of dc generator so guys it will look like this magnetization character this is called magnetization characteristics and it is divided into three part oa part see here it does not start from o point zero point okay it does not start from o point there will be it will start at some point some voltage will be induced at initially okay why due to residual magnetism you can see the oa part this small part is due to residual magnetism okay the curve is start from a point a slightly up from the origin o so this emf is generated due to residual magnetism and this is called residual magnetism okay and then it goes straight with the speed and flux okay constant speed speed is constant and it goes straight and this is critical resistance is shown okay these are and these are the speeds n1 is higher speed n2 is uh, n1 is greater than n2 n2 is greater than n3 so n1 is higher okay so this graph is a uh, top side the top graph is from n1 speed the middle graph is due to n2 speed and the bottom one graph is due to n3 speed so guys speed is is very very important formula uh, very very basic uh, factor so <clears throat> what happens the upper upper portion of the curve are bent due to saturation and what happens why it is uh, why it is bent like this tilted why the graph is tilted due to saturation the external load resistance of the machine needs to be maintained greater than its critical value otherwise the machine will not excite or will stop running so guys critical resistance is very important factor we will discuss okay we will discuss here we will discuss here how the armature residual voltage okay you already see conditions for voltage build up okay so first important point the presence of residual flux so there should be there must be residual flux in the field winding so if there is no residual voltage the generator must first be excited from an external dc source and then process is termed as flashing of field so residual flux must be there second important point the field winding must be connected properly okay across the armature in such a way so as to strengthen the flux in the poles 
and the third point critical resistance okay the resistance of field circuit must be less than the critical resistance okay so these are the different conditions for voltage build up okay guys so now we will go to our virtual lab session so basically what is happening here you increase this field rheostat value so what is happening okay basically the speed is increased the speed increases of this motor and uh, uh, flux speed increases that's why uh, emf induced increases and therefore field current increases this is the fundamental for this virtual lab simulation guys okay so that's it for today okay guys we will uh, meet in our new video tutorial session of electrical machines till then goodbye thank you